Hello everybody, how's it going? I hope everything is fine. Today we are going to look at what would they say if they could speak to you right now. If you have somebody in your mind that maybe you are not having any kind of a connection, this is for that. I wonder what kind of messages that I'm gonna have. I don't think that I did a video like this before. I don't remember if I did it, but somebody is trying to talk to you, but they are failing one way or another. What would they tell you? I wonder, I wonder. Let me give you enough of time so you can meditate on my pebbles and then I will start with this one. Hello number one, how are you? What, let's see what this person tell you that happens to be in your mind. They are finding it difficult to talk to you for a reason. I don't know what it is the reason right now, but something is blocking them. Even when I'm speaking, my throat hurts. Shouldn't, shouldn't hurt, but yeah. What would they tell you if they could speak? What would be the message that they would like to give? Okay. I think they would like to be around you. If they could say, they would like to be around you. They would like to be happy again, joyful again. They would like to have some, you know, reason to celebrate, reason to celebrate. Some kind of wrongdoing I see. This wrongdoing is like possibly somebody thought that whatever that was out there, what kind of connection maybe you guys had, maybe this person thought that it was gonna be there forever no matter what happens. But then it failed, one way or another it failed and it could be also like this person feels like they are being wronged by other people. They are not feeling victimized, but they feel like, no, this shouldn't happen in this way. I don't deserve this kind of a treatment. I supposed to have this, not this. And I, I don't deserve lies. I don't deserve negativity. I don't deserve sadness. That is just like, maybe, you know, how does it sound like? I can, can I talk about it for a second? They are feeling happy, okay? They are feeling, okay, they are minding their own business. They are having their own life. Everything seems okay. But then somebody is just like trauma dumping them. And all of a sudden they have to deal with someone else's, you know, problem like it's their own and it is taking too much time and effort. If they could speak to you, they would talk about how they were wronged when it comes to dealing with other people, how they were wronged, how they were being taken advantage of. This shouldn't happen in this way. Somebody just literally thought that this person is going to be there forever or maybe you are going to be there forever. Like some kind of a wrongdoing of this situation and they, they would like to speak about it, apparently. You know, some people, actually, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't see it with my own eyes, honestly, but some people are just like seeing some happy people and they say, this person is too happy, I'm gonna do something about it. I literally saw that with my own eyes and then they started a fight and all of a sudden, whatever they were doing, this happy person was doing was just like in shambles and this person was crying and they were just like having the worst night of their life. Just because the other person was looking for some kind of an entertainment because they were not feeling okay for the other person's happiness. I literally saw that. It was a mother-in-law who was doing that to a daughter-in-law, actually. <laughs> it was sad. A lot of conversations have happened after that, but why? Why it was like in this way? Why it happened in this way? It was totally unnecessary when it happened. You see? Somebody's being wronged. Pain. There's a pain, literal pain. In this person's heart, there's a pain. Why they cannot speak to you? Maybe. Oh, I have a feeling. Like, somebody is getting into an abusive relationship, okay? Let's say in that way. They are getting into this relationship, they think that they are going to be really happy, and then they are introducing this abusive partner to their friends. 
and this abusive partner is finding excuses for those kind of friends and they're just like calling these friends bad friends they are not you know thinking of your interest they are just like wronging you in every possible way they are laughing at you they are ridiculing you and they are just like egging their partner so this friendship is broken and now this partner is all alone and the only person that happens to be left in in their life is the abusive partner where are my friends nowhere to be found because your abusive partner got rid of them so you can stay with them sounds like it this person maybe is your friend who is just like into an abusive relationship some kind of communication is broken maybe a family member they cannot talk because people around them is not letting them not let, it's not like you know when, when we are thinking about abusive people we are just like always assuming like they are being really actively no you're not going to speak to this person no i am not allowing you go to this place i will beat you down i will do this no not, they, sometimes they don't say anything like that but they just like insinuate like something horrible is going to happen if a communication lingers like a friendship lingers then oh no this friend is definitely going to do something really bad you're going to be wronged oh my god no if you keep talking with your mom and then maybe your abusive partner is going to be like your mom is trying to do bad things to us and they are egging it until you just like stop talking to your mom but they are not talking in a way like you will never gonna speak to your mother again they, they never say something like that they always say like do you see what your mother is doing do you think it is okay and they direct you a question so like it is your opinion to see oh my mom is doing something bad she must be doing something bad this person is not free to talk good things they are not free to have communications with you anymore it's like they are being surrounded with such circumstances that maybe they cannot literally control it at this moment but there's a silver lining i think they will reach out to you i think they will find a way to just like come to you and say something about the situation maybe they would like to talk about how abusive the certain situation is for them maybe they're going to talk about their abusive partner maybe they're going to talk about like it doesn't have to be a partner i'm just like saying as partner but it was like example so maybe they're going to talk about this abusive family member or maybe a friend somebody somebody egged this person so they cannot speak to you please be very careful with this person they have a lot of trauma and they're causing a lot of trauma. Maybe because of their silence you had to suffer. Maybe because of their, you know, lack of existence in your life made you question a lot of things in your mind, in your heart. Maybe you love this person and in, in return this person was just like being really mean to you. Trauma creates more trauma in this scenario. So please be very, very careful with this person, all right? If this person could talk, they will say, I am not okay. I feel like a fool. I'm in pain. I am alone. I was wronged and now I cannot get out of it. They, that's what they will say. Maybe they also will say, I am going to find a way out of this. I am going to fix my life. I'm going to help myself. I'm going to find something so good that this will not going to affect me anymore. They would say that too. Okay, that was all. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you in the next ones. Bye. Hello number two. You know what I was expecting? Like a love reading. You know, if there's a person who cannot speak about their feelings. And then I will see that. And number one was definitely not that. I don't know what I'm going to see for you. I hope I will see something lighter okay let's see what the person in your mind is thinking and what they cannot say to you right now what is this all about a wish for reunion okay that's good oh i was like oh thank god number two is good <laughs> I'm sorry, number one, if you watched that one and if you just showed up to this one too. 
<laughs> I apologize. This was not my intention, but okay. Oof, this person wants to just like have a connection with you and they're going to find a way to do that. Okay, if this person in your mind could speak, they will tell you, okay, I'm planning so many things that so we can be together. They will say something like, okay, I want your hand in maybe in marriage. I want to be with you. I want to go to places with you. Can I invite you to certain places? I will take you there. I will take you with my car even. They would like to plan things. They would like to do things. And they are, they would say something like, I feel in balance. You are not making me go up and down for no good reason. Excitement is out there. Obviously, there is an excitement in maybe feelings and something like that. But it doesn't make me lose my mind like an anxious pig. It doesn't make me feel like and treat other people like, you know, uh, according to my own tantrums, I'm not doing that. I don't feel bad about this situation. I feel really good about this situation. And I would like to make it sure that you can see that too. You know, I want you to see my better side. I want you to see me in my good days. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this person wants to just like impress you with their physical looks. Maybe they would like to... You know, how does it sound? It's going to be so ridiculous for some people. They will never going to understand, but I hope that you would. They would like to add you on Instagram, okay? They would like to, you know, send you a request for following. And before they do that, they would like to upload the best pictures that they can take recently so they can look good for you. Or maybe they would like to share some really cool stories so maybe you're gonna just like look at the stories and you're gonna like what you're seeing they would like to impress they would like to impress and if they could speak at this moment they will tell you oh you know oh, you have no idea how many plans that i have in my mind to impress you i want you to see me in my good days not in my bad days maybe they had really bad days i don't know maybe they had some kind of an argument in their own mind like, no, it doesn't happen in this way. No, this thing is not going to work. Maybe they have some kind of an insecurity, even. Yeah. They, they don't want you to see them suffering. They don't want you to see them as, like, a insufficient, not strong enough to deal with this communication, whatever that is going on. They were, they were wronged for one reason. I don't know why the, this reason is out there, but... Or maybe the fear of it is itself is just enough. You know, what if they don't like me? What if what they see is not good enough? What if... So that's why they have this kind of... Not because of the low self-esteem or anything like that. It could be for another reading, but this one is not... It doesn't resonate with me in this way. This one is like... This person would like to impress you... Not because they are trying to show off, not because they are just like trying to conceal their insecurities. No, no, no. They would like to impress you because they feel like you deserve it. Because they feel like this is what I'm going to give to that person. Why would I show less? I'm going to, you know, pose for this Instagram. I'm going to you know, wear my best clothes and because this person deserves it, they're going to think. And the idea of like you are not being impressed is kind of a threat to them not because of the insecurities again i have to repeat myself not because of that but because just like they feel and they can see how things can happen in their own mind and they want you to see that as well that's why they are planning a couple of things and i think you're gonna see and i think you're gonna hear from them quite soon things are going to change in a way that well, okay this person actually thinks as I am thinking of this person you're going to have that kind of a feeling okay that was all I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope to see you in the next ones bye hello number three how are you I hope everything is fine today we are going to look at what would they say if they can but what's in their mind 
that they are not sharing at this moment and why they are not sharing. Are they going to share it? We're going to look at as much as possible. I don't know what cards are going to show, but I wonder what this person is thinking of. It could be anybody, not just like a love situation, okay? Please don't just think that it is a love reading. A Hierophant. It is difficult for me to read a Hierophant. I'm not going to lie. I know the meaning of it. I did my research, I, I can assure you. But making sense of Hierophant in the readings can be a little problematic sometimes. Let's see the other cards. Okay. All right. It sounds like a work-related situation. A new beginning at a new job, maybe. Would you like to hear something from a company? Would you like to hear somebody who is working in a big company about like work? Are you expecting some kind of collaboration or maybe some kind of a partnership, some kind of work-related union? Is this person is out there, up there, and maybe you feel like you are down here and you would like to reach out to their position or maybe you would like to reach out to them so you can be up like them? Well, good news. This person is really interested to talk to you. Or even if this is a company, they would like to hire you. They would like to offer you some kind of a job position. A new beginning, a new situation, a new opportunity. Because possibly they think as you are thinking. Like it's, this could be like a really good union. This could be like a good match. Like you can provide them and they can provide you. And this will be like a, you know the dream coming true for the future. For the potential of a certain situation. If this is a person and if this is like a work related situation. This person is thinking of maybe they can work with you. Okay? Maybe they can work with you. And if there's nothing going on with the love situation. And if this person is just like out there. And you're trying to get some kind of an answer from this person. I think the answer is going to be yes for you. What would they say that when they look at you. They see a great potential for growth and good results. You seem like a good result. You seem like a best conclusion that they can ever found. You seem like you can do certain things. You are believing in yourself. You have the courage. You are not afraid of delving into like different things. You are ready to go. They can see that you are ready to go. You are ready to start something new. And that's why they would like to get your attention. Let's say that this is like maybe a love related situation and you are expecting some kind of Communication from a person, this person can see how good you are, how comfortable you can be in your skin, how happy that you can seem, and they are fantasizing about you in a physical way. That's what they will say, but they cannot talk about it because they think that it is wrong to talk about such things, and maybe they are not there yet. Maybe they feel like, you know, the integrity, ethic, no, you cannot just like go to a girl and say this and that. Maybe you cannot send a you know certain picture, and maybe you cannot do this and that. They have they have such structure in their mind that they cannot shake it off. But you are so free. They feel like they are in this position that they cannot move. When they look at you, you are so free. You are so carefree. You are just like so happy, happy go lucky. Maybe I don't know. You have all the potential and they would like to have those potentials with you. They will say that, definitely they will say that. They will say, I want a life with you, a happy moment with you, you know, some kind of a movement with you. If you are gonna go, can I come with you? That's what they will say. If it is a person, if they're interested with you. This person can be a Taurus. I don't know why I'm getting a lot of Taurus messages these days. Do some. Can I open one more card? Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Okay. I would like to open one more card for this thing. Okay. They feel like they have this kind of a fear of what if you are not interested enough? What if 
you find better solutions outside what if you meet with somebody else and then you will be so happier maybe you will find another job that is going to pay you a lot what if they cannot give you this like nurturing points like what if they cannot make you feel happy they have that kind of a negativity in their mind that's what i felt some kind of an insecurity at number two there was no insecurity but i i sense some kind of an insecurity even though you know they can give a lot that you're asking for like maybe the all of the things that you can ask for they can give it to you they think that you're gonna walk away for something else something better maybe they think like you should walk away for something better maybe they think like they are not good enough what if you become really powerful and then you just like walk away what if you just question things that they are providing to you what if you are not really entertained anymore with this person what if this person whatever they are bringing to the table is not good enough and you find something so much better or if you can do it for yourself even if this is like a work-related situation what i will call it is like what if you are not working with me and you are starting your own business and then we are competitors that kind of a feeling I have. And actually, at the end of the deck, there is the competition cards. What if things go bad and we become enemies? You know, something like that can happen in their brain at least. But you don't see it in this way. You don't see it negative. You don't see it like you are ready to see the positive side of the things. That is good. You can make things work. This is your power. Just not because, you know, you are putting too much effort and that's why it is working. No, but you can start, you can initiate really good things that are going to be in a well-oiled machine, maybe. You are believing in yourself that no matter what you do, you can make things good again. But they cannot know that because they are not talking at this moment. So they, how would they know? How would they know? I hope that they will send you a message or they will give you a call and maybe send an email. So this, whatever the situation is, can be resolved so easily. This is actually positive, not negative. But their what ifs and their thoughts of like the negativity is kind of pushing it down. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.